Hey there, greetings everyone. It's GleeCon, and I'm here again bringing you another episode of Lore of Warcraft. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am stoked and happy to have you here. On the last episode, we, um, we've been working on a walkthrough, a full completionist walkthrough of World of Warcraft Classic. We finished off Elwyn Forest, which is an Alliance-only zone, and it's the easiest of the starting zones for the Alliance. And now we're going to begin with a, a new character, our only Horde character we're going to make. And it will be the easiest zone for the Horde, which, numbers-wise, don't argue with the math, is the Tauren zone. Now, we have a, we're going to be a Shaman, because I like Shaman. But we already have a male Shaman on the show, and even though I already have a female Tauren character, I'm going to make a female Tauren for us, because we haven't made one of those even though my I have a female Torin as my sample character so uh, of the horde it says four races comprise the horde the brutal lurks the shadowy undead the spiritual Torin and the quick-witted trolls beset by enemies on all sides these outcasts have forged a union they hope will ensure their mutual survival I hope so too and the Torrens say they are always the Torrens strive to preserve the balance of nature and heed the will of their goddess, the Earth Mother. Recently attacked by murderous centaur, the Torren would have been wiped out, save for a chance encounter with the Orcs, who helped defeat the interlopers. To honor this blood debt, the Torren joined the Horde, solidifying the two races' friendship. You have a, uh, a War Stomp, which is an AoE stun. I love that move. It's probably my favorite. Maximum health increase is great. Herbalism skill, we're not even gonna use because I think I'm gonna go with leather working and resistant to nature fine <clears throat> shaman commune directly with the elements their combination of wisdom and resilience makes them ideal as tribal advisors and leaders in battle the shaman use totems and spells to manipulate the elements and provoke other fighters to untold heights of rage and might shaman exemplify the primal bond between the savage races and their environment the thing about shaman in classic is though um, the enhancement and especially elemental are are fairly uh, shunned across the board and they make solid resto so even though we already did a resto we're gonna stick with resto same way we did with same way we did ret because it's just a good spec and it's totally sustainable even as a solo person um so let's go ahead skin color i haven't i don't oh i like the black and white cow i wanted to look different than our other one so i do like the i think moln was maybe let's go with a black and white cow um, there's black and white with white with black face, and this is kind of more like a gray and white. I do like that brown and white or light brown. But no, we're gonna totally eschew my normal what I would pick. Oh, that's like a giraffe with like a gray face. But no, do I like the black face better? Or gray face, oh black face. Kind of cool. All right. And how do we want that face to look? Broad nose. Well, I like the brown eyes. I've always, like I told you before, I'm a fan of the brown eye, but... <laughs> to strike that from the record. I like this one where she has the sort of um, markings on her face. So change that. That's the only one. So... That one with the brown eyes and the markings? I'm going to go with that. Horn style, little bitty horns. Little mini bison horns, curved outward horns, not not as cool. I don't like that. Tiny nubs, nah. That's kind of boyish. Curving down is okay. And then now we're back on these. Do I like mini bison? Um, I mean, that's a pretty solid classic one right there. Mm, not loving that. Mm. Yikes. Ugh. Just not loving all of them. I guess that classic horn style right there is fine. Horn color. Ooh, do I want to be black on black there? Kind of looks cool. Or do I want to go with that white black color? Stop moving your head! That is... That's Those are my three options. Black, brown, or white. Let's go white. And let's see, we have the, oops, we have the pigtails, we have the little Leia curls, short pigtails, wrapped, wild hair, nothing, just clean cut. That's it. 
Well, it looks like the stock footage they gave us was pretty nice. I don't like the pig tails. I don't like the, I don't like the, the actual pig tails. I like the. I, okay, we'll go with the double braids. Okay, I can't complain. I don't hate it. But is that all you want? To not hate it? What if I change the skin color to the kind I like, where I've got the. Oh, see, like, but then that makes the face look kind of weird. This is a big decision, you know. Mm. What was that between the, the really dark, or now what about the gray? Then that I, I don't like the way the nose looks like that. All right, we're sticking with this one, and let's call it Glee. Console. Glee console. Like, I'm gonna console your pain as a resto healer. I'll do it. Glee console. Or Glee console. Now I'm like a gamer. Okay, so we have our shaman and let's dive in to Mulgoa. You're interested in the other starting videos? Again, check out my other videos. We've already done all the classic starting ones. Once a nomadic people, the Tauren roamed the endless plains of the Barrens, hunting the mighty Kodo. Scattered across the land, the wandering tribes were united only by their common hatred for their sworn enemy, the marauding centaur. Seeking aid against the centaur, the great chieftain Cairn Bloodhoof befriended the savage orcs who had recently journeyed to Kalimdor. With the orcs' help, <clears throat> Cairn and his tribe were able to drive back the centaur and claim the grasslands of Mulgore for their own. Upon the windswept mesa of Thunder Bluff, Cairn built a refuge for his people. Over time, the scattered tribes united under a single banner. Though the noble Tauren are peaceful in nature, the rites of the Great Hunt are venerated as the heart of their spiritual culture. As a tribesman of Mulgor, you must test your skills in the wild and prove yourself in the Great Hunt. All right, we're going to do that. Oh, we got to set up LVUI. That's me love it. Mm-hmm. I like to do... Ooh. Pick classic before but I like class we'll go with class I like class better than classic I like medium how tiny it is healer that will pop the boxes yep <laughs> and let's get some aura bars and I'm finished I'm not going to soak discord at this time alright so we have the squad here um, I know we're going to have to turn on auto loot as well. That's, that's the main function here. I might as well open up my second box with my action bars, player bars, maybe bar six. Let's do 12 buttons. Let's open up some of our other things here. So we do have the racial war stomp. You know, you, you know we're needing that. Now I'm going to go ahead and put heals on the bottom and then lightning will be her kind of go-to missile attack for now um other than that we have block uh patient uh cultivation for the herbalism all the rest are just passives we can shoot lightning bolts which is all we really get in the beginning and then we have uh resto not a ton <clears throat> as you know how it goes but we you'll see we will see how strong we can get so sitting right in front of us here is Grohl Hawkwind with The Hunt Begins. So might as well pick that up. Well, greetings, adventurer, and welcome to Camp Narash. News of your arrival no, spread Rache. quickly among the tribe. You have a promising air about you and will prove yourself to the tribe. Perhaps someday soon, you will be welcomed into the great city of Thunder Bluff. But before that can happen, you must prove yourself to my father, Chief Hawkwind. Up here on Red Cloud Mesa, we pride ourselves on keen hunting skills. Torrent hunt out of necessity and for sport. Our supply of meats has run low, and we require feathers for clothing, 
Hunt the nearby plane striders and prove yourself by resupplying the village. Okay, so we have that. Um, over here, there is a baker named Mudan. Mudan, sun green. And he has all kinds of water and bread if we want that. There is Vorn Skyseer. Within here, we have the place where we'll get our prepares. <clears throat> we can use stabs or clubs for now. What are our weapon skills to begin with? Maces, so we can do maces and shields, or we can do staves. How may I aid and then some leather armor with me. Nothing major there. We do, again, we're, we're going to need the uh, leather working ASAP, but I think that's like one of the easier ones to pick up. Nothing, you can't work on skill on professions within the initial valley. Special. Here's some arrows and bullets in case, in case we went hunter. There's my the druid trainer and shaman trainer. <clears throat> Shaman's a pretty painless one, like Paladin. They're about the same as far as leveling. Here's the chief who also has a question. All members of the tribe share in the harmony of life. We live together and work together. Our commitment to one another carries with it a high degree of responsibility. I ask of you now a humble task. My mother set out this morning to fetch water from the well to the southeast of Naracha. It has been quite some time now. Perhaps you could check on her for me while I attend to tribal matters here. All right, so we're gonna find his mama. There's the hunter trainer and the warrior trainer. So there's our various trainers. So we have two quests. We have find mom and hunt the plains, plain people. We can do both at the same time. If we go out this way, we have a task unfinished, which is basically what has you leave the land. And then within here, that's a pickup, but we'll wait until we're in that zone. So we'll, we picked up a humble task and the hunt begins. <clears throat> so that's these first two. We are going to go ahead and pick them up. And I already have that one posted. And we picked up both. Okay. And now we're going to go wham bam, turn them both in, or go pick them up. So we need to kill the plane shredders as we're going out to find Mama, Mama Cow out there. And all we can really do is whack with our hammer and shoot lightning. Really not a big skill set, but we actually want to keep her unlike with like say a druid, we want to keep these up. Um It's really yeah, nothing really doing. Oh, you know, before before we take too many steps further, I did promise. Um we're gonna go ahead and look at the various Okay, so it's not a hundred percent drop rate. So if you look at the class quests now because we're going to do that. So we have a level one. The only level one across the board, they all get their letter or rune. We didn't get ours yet. And again, that's one I've talked about before. Um, is that if you get your letters, runes, and you want to hear every single version read, I actually did do that on an episode. So if you go way back to our classic playthroughs, probably a few hundred episodes or more back, maybe five, 600 episodes ago. But if you scroll back onto the World of Warcraft classic um, playlists and go back to one of the first ones ever, you should get to see those and you'll, I'll read them all. So I don't want to do that because we've already done that. But if you look, Warlocks, which we don't have any, actually have this chain called Piercing the Veil or the Stolen Tome or Beginnings or Vile Familiar. So we're actually going to go to Wowhead and investigate that right now. And the only other ones we have coming up on the docket, Priests have it at 5, and Shaman here, which we're going to be playing through, have it at 4. So at 5, we'll have to check this spreadsheet again. We don't, So we can kind of earmark that. We're not going to really have to do anything until level 5. But let's look. Let's start with Piercing the Veil. So Piercing the Veil. Wow, classic. We're going to look and see what this looks like. So I'm guessing these are the quests at level one. I don't know, that would maybe start getting you your imp. So piercing the veil would be if you are playing as either an orc or undead warlock, most likely undead because it's the Tristful Glades one. It does teach you summon imp. Greetings child. I, and we would you'd be picking this up from Virga Marthend out here in the starting zone and turning, uh, Venya, I'm sorry. Greetings, child. I can see that you're still young in the ways of the warlock. Power still eluding your grasp. I can sense your eagerness to learn, and you will learn. There's no strength in ignorance. 
Knowledge is our greatest power. Through its application, we can control the chaotic magics and beings of the void, bending them to our will. I will show you how to bind a servant to your will, but first you must bring me three skulls of the rattle cage skeletons near the abandoned smithy. For what reason? I don't know. Your power is little now, though I suspect already you sense the possibilities. Even the dead might feel alive with that power coursing through us. Though you are still untested and young in your learning, you have proven that you possess sufficient ability to master the summoning and binding of an imp. Do not be deceived by an imp's size. Though it lacks physical strength, it possesses powers and a cleverness that will serve you well. Attend me carefully, for I will not repeat this lesson, and I will leave its mastery to you. So that gives you the, really, the Forsaken. Technically, the Orc as well, but, I, but Trolls and Tauren can't be... Um, Warlock. So that's giving you half of the Horde Warlock. So then let's look up the Stolen Tome. Okay, so this is a quest, a Warlock quest. Also, this is an Alliance version. It's technically human or known, but it's an Elwyn Forest. So this is basically, if you're a human Warlock, what you get instead. You there, this is picked up from Drusilla LaSalle, who is outside of the church in a little tent. You there, uh, Name any name, right? I hope you're sure about becoming a warlock, because if you can't hold your own, you're likely to get pulled under. I'm to teach you, but I need to make sure you're strong enough first. There was a novice studying at the Abbey who ran off to join the Defius Brotherhood. Why do I care? He stole some important books. One of those happens to be The Powers of the Void, which is a book written by Cadgar. Steal it for me. They have it hidden in their tent of the vineyards. Is that a book you can actually read? Here's an icon. No, I don't. Sometimes you can actually like click it if it's readable, but this one's not. Okay, so it doesn't. Yeah, there's not really a lot of that. You can't read it. It was too conspicuous for me to steal the book myself. With luck, one of their own patsies did the dirty work for me. Excellent. I was able able to gain access to this text. It was held in a protected wing of the library that would look suspicious for me to be loitering around. Well, you did a good job in getting this, and I'm convinced that you can probably handle your own imp. So there's no reason for me not to show you how to summon one. Okay. We also then could have beginnings as another option. Beginnings. This is a, this is the gnome quest. If So again, right outside of uh, Alamar Grimm, who's within whatever that place is called, uh, in Cold Ridge Valley, the little town. You must be the new warlock everyone's been whispering about. Must be someone's taking a liking to you if they've asked me to take time away from my research to start your training. Don't worry, I won't hold it against you. The simplest of the summoning spells you will learn is that of the imp. Before I impart this to you, however, you must prove that you have the necessary magical and physical ability. Bring me three feather charms from the Frostmane novices from the cave to the southwest. So go down and kill trolls. Those feather charms the novices carry have some sort of magical power to them. It will be interesting to research them. I wouldn't have expected it from the trolls. Very good, very good. You've done well. Perhaps the interest that's being shown in you is deserved after all. That'll be for the others to decide, assuming your imp doesn't overpower your, power you and nip your career in the bud. For now, I'm satisfied that you'll probably survive your first few months as a warlock. A word about the imp. As... A gnome nose, don't let its size fool you. Its magic can be very dangerous. That's why I said as a blank nose, it'll replace it with race, but this is supposed to be for gnomes. So the gnome is saying, don't let size fool you. And finally, Vile Familiars is the, I believe, the straight up orc version. There are actually two quests called Vile Familiars, but you'll get the Warlock version before you get the second version. So all other non-Warlocks only have these three steps in the chain. The Warlock chain actually has this as a prereq. This is for Orcs, Undead, or Troll. I guess you could be a Troll, but for some reason it said the Troll can't do the other one. I don't know. Can Trolls be Warlocks? I don't think so. <clears throat> Those Warlocks who came before us have earned the distrust of the Horde, and while we are tolerated, we are not loved. This has not brought the warlocks closer together, however, as many choose to live reclusively, dabbling in their magics alone. I will not seek to lead you down one path or the other, but only help you in your maturation. Before I teach you the art of summoning, bring me six heads of the vile familiars from the cave to the northeast in the vile of honor or strength or whatever. It's imp it is important that you can control the beings that you summon through your magic. There are few enough interested in learning the ways of the warlock that I would risk throwing your life away by teaching you something before you're ready. 
Throughout your training as a warlock, you'll learn to call forth beings of many sorts. Some may not seem it, but all are useful tools. Do not be fooled by the imp's small size, as you no doubt noticed. It is still a formidable adversary. So that's the only one that actually has you fighting imps. All right, so back in business now, we can continue our journey. Um, and again, not until level five will we have to look at those again. And once we, you know, it's usually the milestone levels. Level you know, 10, 20, 30. Oh, I'm already out of it. Mata ma ma. So until we get some of our powers, it's a little bit painful. Also, homegirl here may or may not get bag luck. So there's just everybody's journey is different. Okay, we did get a robe just now, an eight armor robe. We had nothing, so at least homegirl has some clothes. Although she can wear leather, so that's not the best. That's a pretty fast cast because it's so low, le so low level. Hey, okay, Alabama. Luckily, these guys are yellow, so it's not like I'm that worried about it. Oh man, I had a long work day today. That's why I didn't make an art book video. Um, to, I won't be making one tomorrow either. I have too many things on the agenda. But over the weekend, I should be able to make some. Probably not the upload. We, I just don't know when that's going to happen. Oh, we leveled up. So you know what? Oh, I'm not going to do it. We we could go back and learn our level two powers. We actually could have done before. We have no copper, but we do have goods to sell like eggshells and stuff like that and beaks but you technically can learn those at level one but we'll give it a minute okay we've we've done everything on that quest but while we're out here let's pick up a humble task from great mother hawk notice that both of these classes class start at level two so there's this is why this zone part of why it's pinch harder than elwyn you don't even get a level one quest you traveled all this way just to help an old woman? My, my, aren't you a keeper? Mm -hmm. I have traveled many paths through life, and these old legs lack the vigor they once had. I can still perform my duties to the tribe. Sometimes it just takes an old woman a little <coughs> longer to do the task. But you look like an eager adventurer. Let's put some of that youthful vitality to the test. Take a water pitcher from the well and bring it to my son, the chief, in Camp Nareche. Remember that even the most humble task can gain the recognition of elders. All right, so we finished the first humble task. So we will be going ahead and turning that in. And then we also picked up a humble task number two. Now, notice we didn't get our class note yet. So if you wanted to go in order, you're going to kind of get a little weird. Um, you have to kind of do things weirdly, like running back, doing that, coming back in, because you can't get it um, until you complete the Hunt Begins. You're not allowed, even though Hunt Begins is a level 2 quest and the class note is a level 1, you're not allowed to get the class note until you complete a quest, basically. And as you saw, it's very hard not to get to level 2 doing that quest. I mean, just turning in the two that we have right now, it's going to give us half of a level. But like like the Paladin, though, we start with a heal, which is great. The Paladin had a little seal, or, but we start with a heal. Now, Paladin doesn't have a cool move like that. He just has detection, but he does get the rep boost. Peace, friend. Ancestors watch over you. Providing meat and feathers for the tribe is the first step in proving yourself as a hunter before the chief. The Torrent of Naraki. Thank you, adventurer. You show much promise. Thanks. Alright, so I just got a leather belt and some leather armor. I love it. So that's good. She changed her gear up. I'm fine with that. We were also... So we just did... Um, the hunt begins. We are turning that in, and now we're about to pick up these two. Greetings. The rune inscribed note. Just a moment ago, a messenger was looking for you, adventurer. 
I believe she was sent by the shaman trainer, Mila. If this note is from Mila, Mila I wouldn't take long in reading its contents. And the hunt continues. A Tauren skilled in the ways of the hunt knows that his prey is not for mere trophy. The beasts of the plains provide us with a means of survival. You will make quite an impression on the elders if you can bring back some highly valued mountain cougar pelts. You can find the beasts lurking in the hills to the south. Our children need clothing and our tents need mending. Okay. Also, the note that we got says, I greet you, young shaman. The winds told me of your coming. The earth gave praise of your strength, and now the ancient spirits whisper of your accomplishments to come. Our people always need wise and great leaders. They often turn to our kind for both virtues. If you are willing, I would teach you more of our ways. Seek me out in Camp Narache on Red Cloud Mesa. We will speak more then, says Mila. Dawn Schreider, the shaman trainer. So, we just picked up the class note. And what was the other one? The hunt continues. Level three. So we finish this. We finish this. And we're about to finish this and this. Picking up the hunt continues. A humble task, yeah, that's what we're turning. Well met. You look as though you have returned from the plains. Do you have any word from Great Mother Hawkwind? You carried this pitcher back at the Great Mother's bidding, I see. Your willingness to help others and provide for the Tauren of Camp Narachi leads me to believe you would make the tribe proud in Thunderbluff someday. Thanks. Your willingness to perform a humble task for the Tauren of Narach and your eagerness to learn are noble traits, adventurer. I believe one day you will be heralded in Thunderbluff as the adventurer of greatness. Before that, you must embark on the rights of the Earth Mother, of which there are three. The first test is the right of strength. Travel to Seer Greytongue and tell him Chief Hawkwind has sent you. You will find the Seer's abode directly to the south of Camp Narachi, tucked away in the hills. All right, so we got the first rights of the Earth er 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 Mother. The first right to the Earth er Mother. Right up here. Let's go ahead and spread this out a little bit. Boom, boom. So we pick those up. The hunt continues and writes the Earth Mother. And also let's turn in the class quest. Technically, I did the note after. The wind. Many are the paths of the Earth Mother. May your ancestors watch over you, adventurer. The spirits have guided you to me. How may I be of service? As quickly as water falls from the sky, here you are before me. I am pleased by your haste. It means you realize both the importance of our meeting and you being here. I am no leader, but I do understand the elements, and I can speak to the spirits of our people. I will teach you to do the same. We will meet many times in the days to come. Each time you will hopefully leave my company a little more powerful, a little more prepared. Like the eternal flame, your spirit will burn bright and hot. Go now, adventurer. Go and test yourself. I will be here for you when you need. Okay, so she me. will. How may I be of service? She will teach us rock biter weapon. And that's it. The others are four and six. So rock biter weapon is our first weapon buff. For now, we can set it down there. We're just always going to keep that on. It's kind of like the Paladin one. Again, very similar classes in many ways where that's going to uh, help us uh, just do extra damage. It actually is pretty solid with the extra damage. This will pretty much always be our weapon of choice. Um, all right, so we need a 10 Mountain Cougar points as we go to the uh, kill Cougars on the way. So similar to last time, we're going to a point of interest, which will give us a little task. And meanwhile, we can kill wildlife. So we're developing a theme so far in the quests. Go and talk to important people, wise people, while killing wildlife. This is the way in... Kill the wildlife in that good way. The way of our people. Mmm. Uh, um, yeah, this is... 
we're not quite as heavy hitters as the paladin to start, but it'll be we'll end up diversifying our, our portfolio. So these guys are still neutral, they're not hostile. Yeah, I had a um, just had a very interesting day at work. Busy, a lot of meetings, been a busy week. And then I had mentioned briefly, and I'm not trying to jinx it, the possibility of this promotion. I haven't heard anything, I haven't been called in for an interview, but it's possible that nothing will ever come of it, that they already kind of have someone in mind. Um, that's not me, but. I did hear whisperings from people at the upper offices that it is my my name is the one being thrown around a lot. So I don't know. We're gonna find out. I guess I'll see. I'll probably have to wait in, over the weekend. So it's just gonna be one of these kind of anticipatory. And then I'm trying to like hedge myself where nothing happens. I'm not like so bummed out. You know how that goes. Because you still gotta, like, have the motivation to do your do your job, you know, be good at it. So, whatever. It is what it is. It's, there we go. Level 3. Ding, ding, ding. ding a ling a ling a ling <laughs> nothing, nothing really is gonna happen at a level 3, but it is nice to get the level up. Yeah, we just we gained agility, strength, intellect, spirit, so as you saw with Glee and Tessa, I really just you stopped even kinda of looking at that after a while, like, okay, that's nice. We got one point in each. That was kind of annoying with the thing had multiple resists, and I'm level three now. I don't know what you're doing. But my mace has just now hit ten, so. We can sell these broken fangs for some moolah. We are going to need the moolah because we, as we saw last time, we're going to have to buy um, the goods to do our jobs. We're going to need a skinning knife. We're going to need um, a fishing pole because, you know, we've got fishing in our future stacked up. Stop resisting my magic. You are lame. Everybody knows it. Okay, look at this. I can use a shield. That's a nice one. I'm getting my bag's getting kind of full. We already have six out of ten of the pelts. The drop rate is pretty nice. Apply that. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, it is. It's just not reflecting accurately at the top there. Chief Here Hawkins is sent you. Right Embarking on the rights of the Earth Mother is no small task. The rights of the Earth Mother are the steps a young Tauren needs to take to gain respect in Thunderbluff. First, you must pass the Rite of Strength. In this test, you must prove your bravery by slaying enemies of the tribe. Bristlebacks of Brambleblade Ravine to the east are encroaching on our tribal lands. They ambush our hunting parties and steal from the village by dark. Show your valor by slaying these villains and return to the chief in Camp Narachi with their belts as proof of your deeds. So we now have a, a desire to go here, which is good, but I want to finish killing the cougars and sell off our stuff first. Had I been smart and sold, we probably could have done this all in one run, but there's also a chance when we turn this in, we get another quest, which kind of leads us, because I do think there's a second quest to kill the battle boars out there, so... While we're, oh, look at that, we got some shoes. Even though it's just little... frayed boots, um, and we did pick... We finished the Rites of the Earth Mother. And we picked Rite of Strength up. So that one's done. And the other we did Rite of Strength. Now... How will that work? I don't know. Is that gonna give us... Is right of strength going to be the prereq for the battle boards? That would be dumb and annoying, but it's possible. 
Classic is definitely not above being done. Two more, but the drop rate's pretty solid. I don't think it's been 100%. Yeah, and Shaman is just an example of one of these class sets. This is not the most fun in the beginning, but as the kit really develops, it becomes quite a nice little class. And we're going to have the advantage of being highly um, sought after in group content, and slow and steady wins the race. We'll be able to really take down a lot of uh, things that maybe a lot of other classes couldn't solo. So we just opened up Break Sharp Tusk. That's available in there, and we'll also turn in this The Hunt Continues. So that'll be done. Well, uh, yeah, what I'm hoping is the battle board gets up in there. We'll pick up the attack of Camp Narache, and then we also have this great sharp tusk that's going to come in. We need to sell all of our goods. So this attack on the battle board camp very well could be what takes us out through this. It's really the rest of the zone comes from taking this out. So. If we end up having to go that route, spending the rest of our time there, that's not the worst thing. Again, this is a pretty easy, but but all said and done, not quite as easy as Elwyn. Let's see if we can make it to the zone without dying. We'll see. What brings you here? Farewell. You can, if you can provide pelts for the tribe, I will pass word along to my father, Chief Hawkwind, of your generous deeds. The Torrent of Narachi. Thank you for these provisions, adventurer. With your skill in the ways of the hunt, you will surely be revered in Thunderbluff someday. Thanks. The battle boars of Brambleblade Ravine to the east are encroaching on our tribal hunting grounds. They are trained to be malicious by the bristleback quill boars with whom we are at war. Go and slay the vile creatures and bring back some snouts and flanks so that we can make stew for our young. Alright, so we did get what I was hoping. We got some bracers, first of all. That's nice. But we also got the battle boar quest, which is kind of what I was hoping we would pick up. So that is all good in the hood. And we have homegirl over here is ready to give us a quest. Adventurer. I have heard of you, newcomer. Perhaps it is you that will help us where others have failed. We Torin have carved a home out of this land, but not without a cost. The bristleback quill boars of Brambleblade Ravine, led by Chief Sharp Tusk Thornmantle, have made our lives difficult with their continued war against us. I charge you to bring me the chief's head. He will be found in the ravine to the east in their makeshift village. All right, so we got Break Sharp Tusk also. So can't complain. That's a little higher of a quest. And we do have a drop quest that gets kind of picked up while we're in there. But this is not a bad one. All right, let's sell. So here's our weaponsmith. Let's sell some of our goods. Greetings. We did a repair there. Boom, 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 boom. Don't care about that. All right, so all together we're at almost two silver. That's nuns too shabby. And in here we have killing the battle boars, killing the bristleback, killing the leader, and picking up um, the thing or whatever, all within one go. Now I don't remember what rites of passage, right of the Earth Mother Two is. I think it actually wants you to like go someplace far. Away. Let's Get this rock biter weapon back on there. All right, so now we need to kill boars. Here's where things start to become hostile. Old grandma, great mother Hawkwind out there. So all your kind of the the general lore theme so far has been, yeah, they're gonna sing your praises. Basically, you want to be honored by the tribe. You want to be one of the tribe. You want to be one of the tribe. And that's gonna happen if we can get high enough level or really if we do these tasks we beat a level four you're really good like cool i mean you would you, 
probably pull off beating a level four, even at, at level one. I mean, There's a ruined pelt. I mean, at this point, my mana is not really for much else other than just coming out to hit. I'm tempted. There's the flanks that we need. I mean, I'm also tempted to just go right up in there because probably. Oh, we need snouts also. So this is similar to the the bird one, where it's kind of like, well, we're gonna use every part of the beast of this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stomp them. Buy myself another couple seconds, and then we're just gonna fight. I'm gonna save my mana. Yeah. We're healing, and we're gonna see about meleeing yeah. it up the entire time. It will be okay to do it. Like I'm, I want to, I want, I want this skill to increase, so I'm fine with yeah, taking my time. Got some more meat. Got some more snouts. No complainies here. Yeah, I guess if you think about, like, what's... I'm trying to remember... It's, like, five... Is it five? What is it? Ten percent? I think it's twelve... Twenty percent of your level. It's more than twenty percent of your level below you. You... There we go. I'm level four. So, now there's that sort of double-edged sword. Do I go back and... Look, now there is another quest. Call of Earth. I can learn my... Oh, you little stinker. But I'm also out here on an adventure. Let's just do the adventure. Although if things seem, I guess, too difficult, or if we die, then I guess yeah. we'll know what we should have done. But right now I have that buff. I don't want to enjoy that, too. Extra arm. Probably the same buckle I already have. battered buckler. Okay, and we still need three each more of the snouts and flanks. But this is kind of a little bit different because we have to go into like this valley. Quillbore Valley. And there are some battle boars in there, so I'm like kind of like We're kind of doing a little overkill by killing all the boars out here. Is what I'm getting at. I did Season of Discovery with a Torrent also, so this is bringing back a lot of memories. I've done this so a lot lately. So that um, kind of contributes to the lackluster. It's not like as spicy to me as doing Elwyn Forest. That one has some more fun things going up. This is not really, this zone's not really like that. Very straightforward, just kill animals, kill Quillbore. I don't know if I have ragged leather boots. No, I have frayed shoes, so. Boot upgrade. Boots is also the name of my pet monkey. But we still need one more battle board drop. Oh, I gotta do my rock hammer. See, we keep saying that, but then when you look, it says five minutes. Okay, we got the thing we wanted. Oh, a bent large shield. That is actually 32. That's a much better shield. It is. It's longer. All right, so we've got to pass through this cave to go into the Battle Boar homeland. Now, things are sporadic now, you can see, but we still have to kill the... We need to kill random Bristleback these guys, but we also need to kill their leader. And we need to get those plans. So we have a few things we still need to do from within. That's a frayed belt. I'm a frayed belt. That's a cloth one. That's trash. Not a bristleback belt. 
afraid milk. That was like a a, a hobo bristle back. So we're just gonna work on going right to the places we need to go. So we'll have to kill these guys on the way. There's, I guess we can go over to getting the plans first. Kind of think it's this way. This is a little bit maze-like. We can also use our hearthstone to get back, so that's cool. It should take us right back to the beginning. It's like automatically attuned to where you start being. Okay. Got a ragged leather belt. 18. Not quite as good as what we have. Alright, so that looks like this is not taking us the right way. So that's cool. At least we cut our losses. Can go back up into the maze. You can kind of see the path right there. The problem is translating that mini map path. So whatever we're doing in real life. I don't like this. Um, weird kind of way that the buff is showing right now in LVI. I did say my LVI is out of duty. Okay, we are collecting these bristleback belts. And I think we're on the right path to getting the battle plan. It's got to be further down this path. And I don't know what other kind of moves we're missing out on. I know we could be working towards our totem. So we're definitely missing that. We should be working towards having our earth totem, which we'll do that. Some of the moves are probably about that. Um, Maybe the lightning shield is up. Um, oh, we got a bag. Yeah, yeah, baby. We got ourselves a bag. That's right, ladies and gents. That buys us. As I can see, there's one of those boards. That buys us all the time. All the time in the world. minutes we're still okay on that i do think this is where we're getting in the ballpark of sharp tooth i think he's in that hut up there don't want to kill these stupid boars i want to work my way around them i'll kill these guys because we still need their belts probably just put that on there. Yeah. i like this kind of large shield man it's kind of neat. i also like the magical effects on the weapon i think that's new i think they nerfed some magic effects, and then they buffed some others. Let's fight this guy. Um, I think there's just too much chance for them to interrupt the lightning cast. I don't even want to cast it when they're this close. Alright, we got some pants. That's good too. 17 pants. Pimited a pinch better than our kilt. It's like pink, though. I don't like how in classic, Paladin and Shaman are pink based on class. I don't like that. I like that it's blue. I bet you we can change that. Okay, so look. There's Chief Sharp Tusk. We are going to fight them both at the same time. That's okay. You know what? I, I noticed there, there's really not a lot of running. Got some flimsy chain gloves. And I'm also not getting, like, stunned with my spellcasting. Okay, that's fine. But there we go. We took Sharp Tusk's head. It really wasn't bad. We didn't even draw the... Riverback Shaman, he didn't even come. All right, 
right, so... We still need to go to the attack on Camp Narache. So we still gotta find that path. There it is. I think it's down in that cave down there. Okay, what do we get? Flimsy chain. Okay, Nuln's too shabby. Alright, we, and we only need one more belt, and then we've got that too. So, once... This is good because by killing these things... Oh, man. By killing all of the boar and getting all of the belts beforehand, we will both just be able to hearthstone our way back out. Yeah, tomorrow I'll be meeting with my D&D squad, so I'll be running the next zone. It'll be kind of fun. A little broken hoof. Okay, so we've got everything we need now. Just gotta make our way down. I do think there's a few. You have to kill two or three at once. Notice that these are shaman. So I'm fighting shaman v shaman combat. This is our first one of these, I think. But yeah, he's got... He's casting light now, so... This guy is not. This is a regular bow boar. Two minutes still. Go ahead and rock biter it up. I don't know how hard it's gonna be. Alright, so there's the thing. Now there might be some guys in there. There is. There's actually two, it looks like. And the other guy's casting at me, I can already see it. But I still think it'll be okay. Yeah, it's like it. Oh, that was Squealer, by the way. That was Squealer Thorn Mantle. He is a named character. We're both healing. Kind of funny. So, the one thing that Squealer does is he actually has a decent belt called Squealer's Belt. That's 23. So, if you go this way, you get the named belt. And you can pick up the attack on Camp Narache. So it's worth it for this quest as well. Which opens up this quest. After carefully evaluating the map, you realize that what you discovered are the plans made by the Bristleback Warchief for an extended siege on Camp Narache. Surely Chief Hawkwind could use this information. I you can't carry any more. You dirty runt. I guess I'm going to get rid of the tough jerky. Okay, even though we don't need that. Alright, so I'm gonna go out there. We just picked up attack on Camp Narache. So that really kind of gets us in a good spot where we're finishing off a lot of this stuff. Here's the battle boars. Be careful. The aggression of the battle boars is an indic is increasing. Have you sent them a clear message and brought back some snouts and flanks yet? Most excellent. These Maybe ingredients best. will make a fine stew. Mm. And the loss of those boars should be a fair lesson to those vile bristlebacks. Gotta sell a couple things because I'm not even gonna have enough money for that. Oh, now I can turn that in. So this will be the battle boars. How may I aid you? Most excellent. These ingredients will make. So that gave us some bread and some a new vest, which is probably better. It's a thirty-three compared to thirty-one. So just a couple points better. It looks, I guess, a little cooler. Here's her. Friend. Break Sharp Tusk. Sharp Tusk will trouble us no more once you have brought me proof of his death. It is his head that I seek, Lee Tinsoul. We Tauren live for the hunt, and there is no greater hunt than against one that is cunning enough to perhaps hunt us back. If you are successful in this task, young one, you will start to learn what I mean. Justice has been served on this day by your swift actions, gloves. adventurer. 
Let this deed serve as a warning to all who would threaten our home. Look at us for level you five. You have earned this reward to help you on your sojourn, young adventurer. And we got some gloves. Excellent. Okay, I'll take it. So we can now, we'll pick up Call of Earth in a minute, but I... Yeah. Hail. So what did we just turn in? We just turned in Break Sharp Tusk. We gotta bring these down another few. Okay, so Break Sharp Tusk. Turn that bad boy in. How about Right of Strength? Walk with the Earth. Have you completed the Right of Strength, Glee Gonzo? I require proof of your valor against the enemy of our tribe, the Bristleback. You have passed the first test of the rights of the Earth Mother. The tribe better. will be proud. Better. All right, so I'm going to take the cane because overall I want the For highest you to DPS. Continue with the rights of the Earth Mother, you must pass two more tests. It is time for you to broaden your experience, adventurer. Travel to Bloodhoof Village and seek out the chief, Bane Bloodhoof, son of Cairn. There, you may continue your journey and earn the acceptance of the elders of Thunder Bluff. Take this totem to Bane. He will recognize my carvings and help you on your path. Follow the road out of Camp Narak and travel with haste. Do not stray or you will lose your way. So our DPS is currently 7.7. .7. When we switch over to the staff, we are going up... Oh. Six. How? Oh. Oh. With that on, there you go, 9.2. I didn't have Rockbiter weapon on it. That's why I was like, what? Okay, so we do lose the ability to have the shield, but really what we need is both. We need to keep them. And then, so we just picked up right of the Earth Mother number two. So, bam, bam. And then we're picking... Right of the Earth Mother number two. We're also going to be putting attack on Kent Narache. Turning that in. Okay. That looks good. It looks like we've got the first whole chunk done. This is quite alarming indeed. But with this information, we can call on our brethren from Bloodhoof Village to help thwart the attack. You have saved the lives of many, Torin adventurer. So he gave me a better shield too, because this one goes up to a 55. It's pretty nice, and you can really kind of go whichever way you want. And that's about it. There is Call of Earth, like I said. So first of all, let's just sell off what we have, and then we can pick up the Call of the Earth, which is the beginning of the Shaman quest line, and we can learn our new powers. So I do want to actually save a shield and a one-hander, but we can sell everything else. This this. Totem of Hawkwind doesn't really do anything for us. I can actually sell this mushrooms too. And then let's put the water over there or whatever. Okay. Um, let's do the powers. And we are five. We're awesome. That's where we stopped with our alliance after one episode two, and we're right at time too. The time has come, young adventurer. Your body ages and grows strong, and your spirit endures like the earth. I see it within you. You have wisdom already. The earth guides our people, and it speaks to us as it will to you in time. But you must be tested. If you are ready, then you shall see things only our kind know of. Seek out the bristleback shamans in their ravine to the east, and take from them a salve they use in their rituals. Return to me only when you have enough for your own potion. So we actually have to go back there because I didn't come back for the shaman move. Dag nab it. Um, but we can also learn our moves. We are level four. The spirits have guided you to me. How may I be of service? We get Earth, earth Shock. Now, the other two don't come. One of them requires the Earth Totem. The other is an upgrade to our heal. Earth Shock is a very useful spell. And it puts us in a very unique situation, too, where at level four, basically, we now have two interrupts. That is just spoiled for choice. You don't get that very much. Now it does 17 to 20, which is, and it's an insta-cast. It's a little bit better, but the mana, it's twice as much mana, so it's still better to spam Lightning Bolt unless you want this. I actually like this spell a lot, but even better, it's also an interrupted counter spell. 
So that's great. So that's all we get. It is a powerful one. But we will gain the Earth Totem with, I think, an Earth Totem spell on the next one. And we will also... The Totems are going to really start to... It's going to take a lot of this stuff. Um, the Totems really take up so much. Shaman have the biggest, like, toolkit out of all the classes. All right, so that's it for us now. Um, we we have another episode in the pipe, 5x5. Five five. We'll, we'll do the Shaman quest line and then move on to the rest of Molgor when we uh, do the next one. But thank you, everybody, so much for checking in and uh, for watching another episode. We have um, I've had a great time with you, and I'll see you next time on Lore of Warcraft. Peace.